Good morning boys and girls. I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing fine. Alright, so in this video clip we're going to work with the workbook. So please take out your workbooks and open it to page 2021. Alright, and uh, I will see you in a few seconds. I will change my camera angle as usual, usually, and you open your books please. All right, see you in a few seconds. Okay, so here we are on page 20 in the workbook. So, we are still on theme 2, animals. And in this book we have the vocabularies, uh, same as in the textbook and grammar book. So, let's look at the words. Puppy, kitten, calf, chick, cub, and lamb. Okay, so please write the correct word to the correct picture. So the book has already given you the first one. What is that? That is a baby cow and it's called a calf. And then they cross out the word. Alright, then go down to B. Read and draw lines. So you have four pictures. Uh, a baby falcon, I think. A baby giraffe. A baby lion. And a baby dog. So the book has already given you the first one. What's a baby falcon called? A baby falcon is called a chick. Okay, so let's look at this one. What's a baby giraffe called? A baby giraffe is called a calf. So draw a line from baby baby giraffe to the baby giraffe picture what's a baby dog called a baby dog is called a puppy where is the puppy and then what's a baby li baby lion called a baby lion is called a cub where is the baby lion okay so draw and match the description with the picture all right now let's go to page 21 Top of the page, exercise C. Read and circle. Number one, two, and three. You have three pictures. Question, what's a baby mm -hmm, called? Cow or sheep? Is it a cow or is it a sheep? It's a sheep. So you need to circle one of these two words. The book has given you the first one. It's a sheep. A baby, cow or sheep is called a lamb or cub so you need to circle three words first number one we have either cow or sheep answer we have cow or sheep again and then we have lamb and cub so you need to circle the correct word so what is this what's a mm -hmm cow called what's a kid cow called or what's a baby cow called which word is it? Circle it. Then answer. A mm -hmm, cow is called a mm -hmm. So circle one of these. Okay, number three. What's a baby mm -hmm, called? A baby dog or baby cat? What is this? A baby dog or baby cat? Answer. A baby mm -hmm, is called a kitten or puppy. So you have the word dog or cat, and then you have the word kitten or puppy. Okay, good. Now exercise D, look and write. We have four pictures. Question, what's a baby bear called? Answer, a baby bear is called a cub. Number two, what's... <laughs> a baby... <laughs> Okay, and then here you need to write the whole question and the whole answer. Same on this one. Okay, so please do these exercises and uh, we will do one more book. We will do the student book as well. Two more pages because we are a little bit behind so we need to catch up. Alright, so this is all for the workbook 
okay please finish the, these exercises okay so here we are on page 26 in the student book all right as I just told you we have to speed up a little bit so we're doing two books each video clip now all right so page 26 in the student book so theme 2 animals still and then we have science all right so now listen to me pronouncing these words and then you pronounce them as well pronounce them three times okay so the first one is walk second one jump swim run climb and fly okay so now repeat them two more times walk jump swim run climb fly that, that's two times one more time walk jump swim run climb fly okay very good uh, now this exercise we will not do I don't have the CD so we'll jump down to the bottom of the page useful language I want you to practice this three times as well monkeys can climb trees and swim I like monkeys do you like monkeys yes I do or no I don't no I do not I like elephants okay page 27 please here you have an exercise listening exercise I'll focus in a little bit more okay apologies so let's first read the questions and then I will read the text so read about an animal from Australia answer write yes or no so here you will answer and write either yes or no so you have four questions number one crocodiles cannot walk on land true or false yes or no they can or cannot so crocodiles cannot walk on land no Hmm. Crocodiles cannot walk on land. Is that correct? Okay, number two. They walk very quickly. Yes or no? They look for food on land and in water. Yes or no? Many people do not like them. Yes or no? So, the book has already given you, you the first one. Kukras cannot walk on land. Emphasize not. They cannot walk on land or they can walk on land. No or yes. Okay, ready? So here we go. An interesting animal in Australia. Many animals can only swim in water. But crocodiles can also walk on land. They can walk very quickly. They spend time on land and in water looking for food. They cannot fly or jump high in the air. They are not very beautiful, but many people like them and take photos when they see them in, in Australia. Okay, I will read it one more time. Many animals can only swim in water, but crocodiles can also walk on land. They can walk very quickly. They spend time on land and in water looking for food. They cannot fly or jump high in the air. They are not very beautiful, but many people like them and take photos of them, photos when they see them in Australia. Okay, good. So write your answers yes or no now let's look at this exercise guess the animal 
uh, in pairs no we cannot do that uh, okay I'm going to ask you three questions and you will have to write your answers uh, here so one two and three so write the answer I am of the animal that I am describing so you have eight animals monkey elephant lizard crocodile snake shark mudskipper parrot okay uh, so you only need to answer you just need to write the animal that you think it is don't worry about the conversation is it can I will say this it can mm -hmm, something that it can and something that it cannot and you just write your answer what you think it is don't worry about asking is it a monkey and then me yes it is or no it is not do you like monkeys don't worry about that only write the animal you think it is okay so three animals animal number one uh, this animal it can swim very fast and it uh, it is a very dangerous animal and it cannot walk on land so it can swim very fast it is a dangerous animal and it cannot walk on land what is the animal number one number two uh, let's see <laughs> uh, this is a very big animal it is usually very friendly towards humans and it um, it lives on land so three things it's a very big animal it's very friendly towards humans and it lives on land what is the animal number two and number three hmm. Hmm. this animal sometimes they are very very dangerous sometimes they are not um, many people are afraid of these animals and uh, they cannot fly but some of them can climb trees not all of them but some of them okay so I'll give you four facts here number one some of them are very dangerous uh, what else did I say dangerous and uh, okay let's see I don't remember what I said they're dangerous uh, most people do not like them they are afraid of them and uh, they cannot fly but some of them can climb trees oh yeah those were the four things some of them are dangerous most people are afraid of these these animals they cannot fly but some of them not all but some of them can climb trees okay so what's the animal all right good now for the last exercise writing all right so uh, look at 
speaking okay write about three animals you like so you need to write about three animals that you like out of these eight so for example I like monkeys they can climb trees and they can swim so you need to write first what animal you like I like mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. and then write two things that that animal can do all right so for example uh, the crocodile uh, it can swim and it can walk on land it is dangerous and uh, they are quite large okay so now you write about your three animals all right good so that is all for this video clip all right so take care boys and girls please do all these exercises in both the first to the workbook and then in the student book and uh, that is all for this video clip now I will give your parents the answers so that they can check your answers and if you have made any small mistakes then just correct them okay good job Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Okay boys and girls. Now this part of the video is only for your parents to check your answers. So if you haven't done it already, please go give the book and your phone, their phone to your parents, your mother or your father. So that they can check your answers. Alright, so the first page in the workbook, these are the correct answers. Number one is calf, but the book already gave you that. Number two is kitten, number three puppy, four lamb, five cub, and six chick. And then, yeah, the second picture is uh, giraffe, so the first one. And then the third picture is the third from the right, uh, lion, called a cub. And the fourth picture is uh, description number two, what's a baby dog called. All right. And the next page. <coughs> so the book gave you the first one. So you only needed to fill out the second and third one. And it's a baby cow. So question, baby cow called? Answer, a baby cow is called a calf. And three, what's a baby cat called? It's a cat answer a baby cat is called a kitten all right and the last exercise d number two uh, question what's a baby giraffe called answer a baby giraffe is called a calf number three question what's a baby dog called answer a baby dog is called a puppy and number four what's a baby chicken called a baby chicken is called a chick and uh, when you have checked your, your children's answers and uh, they all correct, then please have them ask and answer about these questions. Okay? You don't need to make a video about it, but I want them to practice three times. One, two, three, and four. Okay? Good. And the last exercise, well, sorry, the last page is in the workbook again sorry in the student book again so the listening exercise about the crocodile number one the book already gave you crocodiles cannot walk on land no that is true they cannot do that number two they walk very quickly yes they can walk very quickly they can even run three they look for food on land and in the water Yes, that is true, they, they do. And four, many, pe many people do not like them. No, that is not correct. Many people do like them. Okay, and the description I gave for three animals. Number one was a shark. Number two was an elephant. And number three was a snake. Okay, and then uh, the written exercise at the bottom of the page that I cannot give you any correct answer for it's up to your children what animals they like all right good so that's all for this video clip take care and I will see you in the next one bye bye